Okay, as a team of fans, I just saw this great interview from Jasmine Summers. She had an interview with actor Tony D. Head, who we just met yesterday, a.k.a. Fatima's stepfather, Henry. Uh, it's about 13 minutes long. I'm going to leave a link to the full interview in the comment section below. It was really good. I enjoyed it. Uh, we learned a lot about uh, Tony's career, of course, his role in Zatima, but the one thing that stays consistent amongst Tyler Perry actors when they do interviews, every time I've seen an interview with a Tyler Perry actor or, you know, the few interviews I've done on the channel, aside from the work, you know, they talk about, oh, here's my role. Here's how I got my role. It's just the numerous good things they have to say about not just Tyler Perry, but the people who work at Tyler Perry Studios. Professional, good-natured, just all around. It makes you feel like, wow, that's it's a very fast-paced environment. You know, you got to come with your A-game. There's a lot of work to be done. One takes, this, that, and the third. But at the same time, it's like, wow, it, it seems like an incredible experience to be able to go there, work there, and be a part of something so big. But the story is, you know, how he had actually been reading for Tyler Perry roles for almost or about two years. And even though he's gotten close before, his role as uh, Fatima's stepdad is the first one he, uh, you know, actually got the green light on. And the fact that he sent in the, you know, self tape and then from there, the next day got a contract is like, wow, it's like, you know, um, Tyler trusts me with this because what he thought was like a one episode appearance, there are a number of episodes he's showing up in. So that's pretty incredible. You know, and the fact that just like I was saying in my live stream on Instagram, I'm like, you know, even though I'm not the biggest fan of some of the writing choices, I always give props to Tyler Perry in terms of, you know, seeing how he's working in the zone where he has like four or five different screens in front of him he knows exactly what he wants when he's shooting a film or a show you know the camera angles the lighting and how almost every season you know from show to show looks better and better visually and here we have you know um tony talking about how he didn't really talk with Tyler because he didn't want to disrupt him because when you get on set, you see Tyler in the zone. So you don't want to disturb that. So I think that's pretty awesome. But he talks about, you know, the character of Henry and that, you know, he's from the other side of the fence while, you know, uh, Mona is kind of a quasi gangster, you know, pretty much how Fatima's mom has that demeanor where she's like no nonsense. And on the other hand, Tony is from the or excuse me. Uh, Henry's kind of from the other side of the tracks where he doesn't have the same kind of upbringing, the likes of, let's say, you know, Zach or maybe even Fatima's birth father. But at the same time, he, you know, has a little hood to him. And we'll see more of that as we get into the series. And, you know, he didn't spoil anything, just throwing that out there. But when I look at this interview, as well as interviews from others, a team of cast members, I think it's safe to say we can at least guess that there's another three plus seasons in the works like crystal even said in one season you know what we'll see more of this particular aspect of a character as the show goes on so i think zatima is here to stay for quite a while and i'm here for it but yeah it just seems like we're going to see more of the family dynamic not now there's there's a lot going on in the show but as um, fatima's stepdad shows up we'll see more of his one-on-one -on -one relationship with his stepdaughter and um, I'm here for it, not to mention his dynamic with Zach. So, like I said, this was a great interview. 12, 13 minutes is a, a good bite-sized amount. You learn a lot about the actor behind the character as well as the character, you know, himself. But, yeah, shout out to Jasmine Summers. I definitely need to check out her channel if she's done more interviews with cast. And, Jeremy, why don't you do more interviews with cast members? Because I live in a crappy area with bad Wi-Fi, but... If I'm able to leave soon and I have good Wi-Fi, I will do as many interviews as possible. Trust and believe it. So in the future, maybe someday I will be in a different location with better Wi-Fi so I can do interviews myself. But until that time, just enjoy the content I do post. So like and subscribe. Follow me on social media and make sure you subscribe to Jasmine Summers. Like I said, I'll leave a link to the full interview in the comment section below so you can check it out.